Go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them and teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you, says the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And your spirit. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Today we uh, celebrate the feast of St. Matthew, Apostle and Evangelist. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these uh, sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of her Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us recite the glory. Glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace to people of good faith. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayers. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High in Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit. The glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who with untold mercy were pleased to choose as an apostle Saint Matthew, the tax collector, grant that sustained by his example and intercession, we may merit to hold firm in following you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call you have received, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another through love, striving to persevere the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace, one body and one Spirit, as you were also called to the one hope of your call. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all, and through all, and in all. But grace was given to each of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. And he gave some as apostles, others as prophets, others as evangelists, others as pastors and teachers, to equip the holy ones for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ, until we are all attained to the unity of faith and knowledge of the Son of God, to mature manhood, to the extent of the full stature of Christ. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Song. Their message goes out through all the earth. 
Their message goes out through all the earth. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. Day pours out day the word to day, and night to night imparts knowledge. Their message goes out through all the earth. Not a word out of discourse, whose voice is, is to be heard through all the earth, their voice resounds, and to their saints and the world, their message. Their message goes out to the world. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. We praise you, O God. We acclaim you as Lord. The glorious company of the apostles praise you. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus passed by, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the custom's post. He said to him, Follow me. And he got up and followed him. While he was at table in his house, many tax collectors and sinners came and sat with Jesus and his disciples. The Pharisees saw this and said to his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? He heard this and said, those who are well do not need a physician, but the sick do. Go and learn the meaning of the words, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. The gospel this morning, the Lord um, saw this man, Matthew, sitting at the tax office, for he was a tax collector. And the Lord called on Matthew. The Lord chose Matthew to be his follower and friend, not because Matthew was a religious person or popular or has a saintly character, because Saint Matthew that time appeared to be none of those. Saint Matthew choose to live a life of wealth and ease. And a lot of people really hate him for tax collectors are considered traitor in the Jewish community. People hate, hate him actually for being a tax collector for the Roman authority. And as a tax collector, probably he made himself wealthy by overcharging and uh, threatening people if they do not hand over their money to the Roman authority. And what did the Lord see in Matthew that others did not see? The Lord saw the heart of Matthew. His heart must have yearned for God, even though he dare not show his face in the synagogue. He did not uh, uh, practice his uh, faith. But when the Lord saw Matthew sitting at his 
sacks office. No doubt, probably counting his money, his days brighter. The Lord spoke only two words. He said, follow me. So the Lord must have said something in the heart of St. Matthew. And these two words, follow me, changed Matthew forever. From a self-serving writer, from a tax collector for the Roman authority, now to a God-serving apostle who would bring the treasures of God's kingdom to the poor and the needy. Why did Jesus not call Matthew at the same time as he called the gathered apostles? Peter and John and the rest. He came to each one at a particular time when he knew that he would respond to him. And that is what happened to us also. Some of us knew our faith very young. Some even cradle Catholic. Some just baptized two years ago. The Lord would come to, uh, He came to each one of us at a particular time when we are ready. Even in St. Peter, the Lord said, You do not know all these things unless it was given to you by my Father. So even this faith that we have is a God given. He came a different time to call Matthew when he was assured that Matthew would surrender to his call. He did not hesitate to follow the Lord immediately when the Lord said, Come, follow me. Some of us, including myself, sometimes when we have these options in life, what makes me happy? We always consider my and material things before jump on to another uh, probably profession in life which one has more. But Matthew on that day probably <coughs> counting his days profit did not hesitate to follow right away. He came or the Lord came at a different time to call us. When the Pharisees challenged the Lord and Orthodox behavior when he was eating with Matthew, with other public sinners, the Lord's defense, as we heard in the Gospel, a doctor doesn't need to visit healthy people. So he recognized that St. Matthew was a public sinner. Instead, he said, he goes to those who are sick. Jesus likewise sought out those in their greatest need. A true physician seeks healing of the whole person, body, mind, and spirit. In these present times, sometimes doctor works only for body, probably mind, and profit, but I also knew doctors who even uh, transferred to another place because they could not practice helping their uh, patients in spirit. I have a friend, a doctor, in my previous uh, parish in Colusa. They were from another state transferred to that area because they cannot accept to do and practice and Christian things in the hospital, like providing abortion or counseling to those that oppose to what the church believes. In 
Or in that time, the Pharisees and the scribes, they practiced religion, but they were selfish because they didn't want to have anything to do with uh, people, with people not like themselves, or to be with people that they considered public sinners. The Lord stated his mission in an equivocal terms. I came not to call the righteous, but to call sinners. One time I was at was a celebrating mass and the governor of California was there speaking, attended by mass that time. And after mass, of course, it's the governor, so I had a picture taken and posted it in Facebook. And people would say, Oh, why did you have blah blah blah? You know, it's good that uh, politicians come and attend mass. Just like the Lord said, He came not for the righteous, but the sinners. Everyone is welcome. So we do not despise those that others believe did something wrong in the community or have different opinions in politics. It's good that He uh, came and prayed. There's nothing wrong with that. So as we continue our celebration, we ask the Lord to help us in our many difficulties, to help our hearts who sometimes very cold. Our hearts, human as we are, are sinful hearts. So we ask the Lord to continue to cleanse our sinful hearts with His precious blood. Our hearts are weak. And so we ask the Lord to strengthen them with His joyful, joyous spirit. And our hearts is always empty. May the Lord fill them with the divine presence. And as we continue, we also continue to ask the Holy Spirit to enlighten us and guide us that all we do in this life is according to what He wants us to do. Please stand. And now we pray for our church, for our community, and for ourselves. As we continue to pray for the intentions of our Holy Father, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for healing for <coughs> Carmel Abuela, Joe the Healing, Joe the Yalom, for Krisa, also for Nikki and Polly. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We also pray for all those who are suffering financially because of this present economic situation. We pray for our firefighters, for all men and women in the military, for our police force and their families. We pray to the Lord. pray for rain and we pray also for the repose of the souls of Isalina, Villa, and Antoy, Ramon, Gerardo, Antoy, Gertrudis, and also for the repose of the souls of Milandro, San Gregorio, Bruna, Sergio. We pray to the Lord. And in the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our own personal special intentions. for the specific intentions of those who are watching this live streaming and also for our community here in Susanville in Herlo that we all be protected from this deadly virus 
we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And all these prayers and intentions we ask through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all grace, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For us of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For out of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. As we celebrate anew the memory of St. Matthew, we bring you sacrifices and prayers, O Lord, Humbly imploring you to look kindly on your church, whose faith you have nourished by the preaching of the apostles, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <coughs> and the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds, to lead it in the name of your Son. And so, with, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, thy host, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, who is in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the God of all holiness, and make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave it thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
in a similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave it thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and confess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jaime, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be course to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us your command and form a divine teaching. We dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. O Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. The
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my room, but only to say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Sharing in that saving joy, O Lord, with which St. Matthew welcomed the Savior as a guest in his home, we pray. Grant that we may always be renewed by the food we receive from Christ. Who came to call not the just, but sinners to salvation, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And the Almighty God bless everyone, Father and Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our minds is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Have a blessed Monday, everyone.